Hi guys, Jenny here and welcome back to my channel. It's still ridiculously hot to turn on the oven. So for today's video, we're making some coffee gel. So if you want to know how to make this, just stick around and I'll show you how it's done. Now let's get into the video. The first thing we'll do is the coffee jelly itself. I'm using the brand called Nox and to make 4 liquid cups, I'll be needing 4 packets of this. To 1 cup of cold water, I'm pouring all 4 packs and then I'll give it a good stir but it won't dissolve. It will form into this rubber-like thing and that's fine. Leave it aside for about 1 minute and then we'll head over to our next step. On this rectangle Pyrex container, I have about 3 cups of boiling water and to that I'll add about 3 tablespoons of instant coffee and about 150 grams of sugar. This measurement does not have to be exact. It all depends on how sweet and how strong the coffee flavor you want for your jelly. So feel free to adjust them. And then give that a quick stir just to dissolve all the sugar and the coffee. About a minute has already passed so we can now add the gelatin, liquid and all, into our hot coffee and then give that a quick stir just to dissolve the gelatin. If you find that some small pieces did not dissolve, the coffee may have gone cold so you can always reheat that in the stove or microwave just until everything has been dissolved. Once all the gelatin has dissolved, I left it to room temperature for about an hour and then I refrigerated it to firm up overnight. About 4-5 to five hours should actually do it. When the gelatin is ready, I cut it into 1 inch squares. You can make it bigger or smaller to your liking. So here I'm just using a spoon to help release the jellies from the container. You want to be gentle just to make sure that the jellies remain square. Now these jellies looks about perfect. We can now head over to our next step. Super easy. In a big bowl, we're just gonna combine our all-purpose cream and condensed milk and then we'll give that a good whisk until they're all well combined and that's just basically it for this step. You can't mess this up. Now this cream is about ready. All that's left to do is to just add all those coffee jelly Give it a gentle stir and that's basically it. All that's left to do is to refrigerate this for about 2 hours up to overnight. So what I did was I saved some of those coffee jelly and then I put it on top of the dessert right before serving. Just to make it look prettier. And that's it guys. I hope you like this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Make sure to hit that notification bell below so you don't miss out on any of my uploads. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on my next video. Bye-bye!